Hi, this is Debbie Bailey, and this is after I left Keaton Huey and got by the security guard. I saw Corky's dorsal and headed to the performance tank, and Corky and McConney both were in there, and they tried to come to me, but a trainer blew them back by a whistle. And then another trainer came out, and then a third orca came out. And you guys know that I'm really bad at IDing these orcas, and I don't want to upset anybody. So I blew up this picture, and I'm fairly certain because of the shape of the dorsal on this orca that it's shooka. And then people came in, like around eight people, and these people paid between $120 and $150 to see this up close show. And I have some pictures of the orcas, you know, doing their tricks. I've got Corky on the platform, Corky leaping, other pictures. And what these people are really paying this money for is, okay, once these like little tricks were done, they go downstairs. The people and the trainers go downstairs. And the orcas disappear. And the trainers tell them about all, all these lies about how wonderful captivity is and how happy these orcas are to be there at SeaWorld San Diego. And then these people that have paid all this money get to get their picture taken with these orcas. That's what they're really paying this money for. So after that was all done with, the orca that I, I am taking a shot and IDing as Shuka left. People are gone. The trainers are gone. Corky and Makani just came racing towards me. Now, Makani was overjoyed to see me. I mean, he was thrilled. And you're going to see why I'm saying this. You can't really tell in this shot. But you can in the following shots. Uh, this is a trick from a long time ago. He learned this when he was a baby. This ended up being the orca kiss to the audience. But there was only me there. So this is Makani kissing me. And you want to talk about having your heart melt? I mean, you guys have no idea how badly I just want to grab these orcas. And get them out of there, put them in sea sanctuaries, get the, grab the wild caught for, take them home. It's, it's heartbreaking. Okay. And then Makani did his thing with me, rubbing up the glass and getting closer and closer to me. In the meantime, Corgi's hanging out in the distance of all the orcas. Do you see, there's nothing Corgi can do about her picture being taken while she's performing. But she does not like her picture, her face, being photographed in any tank. But a lot of times she'll let me, but today she wouldn't. She wouldn't even come closer like McConney was. I had to put my phone away, hold my hands up to the glass, and say, Corky, look, no phone, no phone. And once she saw that, she came over to where I was, showed me her face, and then she rolled over on her side to look me in the eye. So I look her in the eye, and all I can feel is that Corky is upset, but I don't know why. I was there for over an hour with them, and then had to move a little bit to be first in line to be let in. Went to my usual spot. Corky and McConney never left the performance tank. Another weird, strange thing. Because their usual thing is to have the music play and two or three orcas come out and leap into the air for the first ta-da moment of the show. That did not happen. Corky and McConney just started this show. And I'm thinking, okay, this is really weird, strange, but all right, Corky and McConney are going to do the show. But then they let in a third orca. And the orca was Ike who is also very close to Corky. And I have pictures of him on the front platform. 
I have pictures of Ike leaping. I have pictures of Ike on the back platform. I also have, um, I finally now have a picture of Makani on the front platform posing and you can finally see it, you know, for reals. He's 10 years old and his dorsal has started its lean and collapse at the age of 10. And I've got some cool shots of Corky. And then a really weird thing happened that I, I've never, personally, I've never seen. They opened up both gates simultaneously on either side of the performance tank at the same time. And they ushered Corky quickly out on one side and at the same time ushered another orca quickly in. And that orca that they let in beelined it straight for the front platform and here she is, Kalia. And that confirmed it for me. I mean, Kalia's the one who attacked Corky. They can't be in the same tank anymore. She's already got this problem with Ulysses. So now there's two orcas that she can't be in the same tank with. I saw no other orca with Corky in the second tank. It was just Corky back there. Shuka wasn't even back there anymore. So while you're watching these pictures of... And, and somebody try to explain this to me, how these roles that Corky is doing is in any way educational. I mean, it's just, this is so ridiculous. I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm watching a really strange, weird, odd show. The whole experience has been. And I've only seen seven of the eight orcas. Okay. Yulian Keat in underwater viewing. Corky... Makani and Shuka in Up Close. Then we've got Ike and we've got Kalia joining Corky and Makani. Where is Orchid? And after the show, I looked for her. I couldn't find her. I don't know if she's in the med pool, but if she is, if something's wrong with her, there's another thing for Corky to be upset about. So I was supposed to bring you this typical day in the life of these orcas at SeaWorld San Diego. And now you're seeing all the reasons why I couldn't. There's just too much going on in there. I hope to God they are not isolating Corky for any length of time. That they always put a buddy of hers in any tank she's in with her. Like Makani or Shuka or Keats, or Ike. I hope nothing's wrong with Orchid. And I don't know why. I don't know if it was the sound of my voice that called Keat the underwater viewing. I mean, it was just... The, this was a strange, odd trip visit. And I'm, I've got these promptings telling me to go back, go back and try to find Orchid and try to connect with Corky again. Maybe Ma can if she is strong enough. Thank you very much, everyone, for all your help, your support, your friendship. Thank you for watching, watching, and always thank you for listening. Bye.